All right, now we're going to do two things. I'm going to show you how to create a project file, a uh, project folder, and I'm also going to show you how to connect that to your InMotion hosting account. So the first thing you do is go File, Add Project Folder. And I'm going to browse to my folder I, on my C drive. I have a folder called PHP Projects 4210. You can call it whatever you want. And I'm going to say select that folder. Okay, and there's nothing in that folder. Okay. At this point, I want to go to my packages, remote FTP, and click um, toggle, and that will take me to my, I'll have a remote and a project. In my remote, I can click connect, and it's going to throw an error because there's nothing to connect. Okay, nothing to connect. So if I go back to my packages, remote FTP, I can create an FTP config file. Okay, this is the file that's going to, we're going to put all of our information in. So here, very important, we're going to start with ftp.s1-codec.com. Okay. And we're going to leave it at port 22. Remember, networking port 20, or sorry, port 21 is the FTP protocol port. The user is going to be the user I created, test at s1-codec.com. Okay, so you're going to have the whole thing all the way out. Then we're going to copy and paste the password in. This is just one of those random passwords that we created. And at that point, we can click Save, go to Remote, and hit Connect. Okay, let's see, make sure I did it all right. Make sure I spelled things right. Ah, S1 dot gc codec dot com and also s1 dot gc codec dot com <laughs> whoops okay i remote it in i connect it in and notice that my two i'm in my remote side my two folders showed up now on my project side they're not there but on my remote side they are i have a folder called 4210 my cgi bin and i have my two files so if I were to, uh, say, grab this index file, I can download it, okay, download it, and it will put it on my inside my project here, okay? Now, if I go into that project, I can say, hello world, my name is Ryan Marshall, save it. Now, if I go out and view that website, um, we should be able to take a look at it and it should say that. I just hit save and it should just say that. So I go out there, I hit refresh, and it goes out and grabs it. Hello world, my name is Brian Marshall. And let me make, minimize that and I'll make a change to it. Things are going great. Save it. Bring that page back up. Refresh that page. Things are going great so it automatically puts it out there for you okay now what we don't want to do is um, put this folder inside the project folder called 4210 so why don't we go back to our FTP config and here where it says remote we just type in 4210 and leave it just like that okay um, might need the forward slash but we'll just check in just a second and we will reconnect in so we'll go to packages, remote FTP, disconnect, and connect. And sure enough, it takes us right into that empty folder. Okay. And in our project, we can come back in here and say, change out. I'm just changing out the index file. This is my 4210 project folder index file. Okay. Now when I upload that, Click upload. It should have already been saved out there automatically. So now when I go out and look at that page, that site, okay, this site's not going to change. Okay, I didn't change that site, but I added that. I put it in the 4210 folder, and now inside my 4210 folder, this is my 4210 project folder index file, and that is now there. Okay, so we want to make sure that in our FTP config file uh, inside our file con configuration file we want to make sure that we put what folder we want it in now it starts the whole folder structure public underscore html 
forward slash this is the folder and if you wanted to make another folder for say project one that's where that's what would go inside that folder also keeping the folder structure how it's supposed to be okay so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and change all these passwords and stuff so that it doesn't people can't add stuff after they watch the video uh, change out my passwords but just giving you a heads up this is how uh, easy it is to push stuff out using the Atom uh, file.